Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Switch and Click here and today I'll be doing a video on the everyday stretching routine that people with desk jobs should be doing every day. This routine is um, something that I found a pretty long time ago um, on the flexibility subreddit. It's by someone named Fractured. Um, this routine is on Creative Commons so it's free to spread however you want. Um, I've, I'll add in the link to the associated blog post where I pretty much went through and described like what is flexibility, why do we do flexibility, like what's the difference between static stretching and dynamic stretching and pretty basic things like that. But then I also go into the routine in more detail, I link to videos on how you do it and I also describe what muscles you're stretching and why this is useful and included some pictures of like some anatomy and stuff as well if you're interested. I didn't want to put too many pictures in because I know that would be like overwhelming and stuff but I'm going to demonstrate the routine in this video. Um, it should only take about 10 minutes so I guess you can use this video as a follow along. I'll be doing 10 reps um, each side for each movement and um, if you want to read more about the movements they'll be in the blog post. I don't really want to describe them within this video since it'll be more of a follow along. So if you're ready, uh, find some space in your living room and we'll get started. The first one is the uh, three plane neck stretch. We'll go left and right or right and left. Now we'll do down and up. And then ear to shoulder. Okay, now hands, fists, and open. Whoa. And then wrist circles. If the power goes out, it's because snow is hitting the power lines. Um, they're starting to melt and fall off of the trees, and it's pretty windy. I'm not really counting all that greatly, but I've got an approximate feel for what I should be doing. And other way... Elbow circles around. Other way. It's a 
like a flamingo. Something graceful. All right, arm circles. My shoulder's gonna be popping a lot. Do not mind. It's completely normal for me. And other way. Shoulder shrugs. And other way. Okay, and now we'll do, let me consult the paper. Okay, we're doing torso twists, arms out, palms up, and we're just going. Ten total for each side. Lost count. It's unfortunate. And then side bends. Keep your lower body still. And we're bending. You should move, feel the stretch right here and right here. Let's count again. Fine. Now we have forward and backward bends. Oh. Down. And back up and back. And again. Next one is pelvic tilts. Yeah, probably need to move the camera for this one. This one can get a little bit awkward, I guess. Okay, now hip circles. It's 
similar to the pelvic tilts except now you're going around in a circle so we're isolating our hip we're not doing this kind of thing we're just isolating the hip a little hard to do if you're not used to isolating that area sort of fun I'm gonna switch sides now This is great for our hips since when we're sitting we're stuck in one singular position and not really accessing any of our other end ranges of motion. Or like your belly dancing, you know? Okay, now leg rotations. I'm going to move the camera down to this as well. Stay still on one leg, hold something if you need to, train out this one, and we're just going to go forward across your body, and back and open, this leg stays still. This two, this does internal rotation, and then external rotation, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then switch sides. Sorry if this is going a little bit longer than you expected, but it's worth it. Take care of your bodies. I like to take my time since I like to feel and stay in that end range for just like half a second longer. Or if you want to do it fast, you can go back, forward, back, forward. A little bit quicker, but I like to take things slow and controlled. Okay, then we have, we have um, high knees, so just Knee to chest. And then we have heel to butt. Three more, they're down at the ankle. So, so with ankle circles, ankle and circle. Those are my, my boots down there. I wanted to be dressed since I don't have work today and I didn't want to be like a lazy bum in my jammies. And switching circles. And other foot. I was taking those off while we were doing the forward bends, back bends. Hope that wasn't too noticeable. But I didn't want to take time during the clip to be like, oh, let me take off my boots. I've injured both of my ankles before, so. If the movement is uneven or off, that's why. And then we have ankle tilts. So this is where you're going this way, and then the other. It's sort of hard to do, like this versus this. You're going like, sort of like this. My ankles have 
my left side's a little bit better. My right side, I fell off like a 30 foot rock climbing wall last year and it was a zombie foot for like eight weeks. It was really bad. And then we have toe flexion and extension. You can't see it through the socks, but we're curling and then spreading. And other time. Is this weird? And we're all done. And we're all done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you followed along and this was really helpful. I'm going to link the blog post, like I said, below. Um, press the thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. If not, it's fine. And leave a comment down below if you think this was sort of helpful and if not that's okay um tell me that too um if you have anything else that you'd like us to talk about in the future post that down there and we'll get back to you in a real quick jiffy anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later bye